In this series, we're going to split this into three parts. In stage one, we're going to create a .NET Core 2.0 web API. We're going to dockerize it by creating a Docker file. We're going to make sure that that runs locally as well. So I'm going to show you some Docker commands that are useful for debugging. We're then going to create an AWS infrastructure that's going to house our .NET Core application. We're then going to set up Bitbucket pipelines. This is going to allow us to create a continuous deployment strategy to get our code from our computer up into the cloud. In part one, we're going to focus on creating our .NET Core 2.0 web API. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by creating our application in Visual Studio. File, new project. We're going to create an ASP.NET Core web application and we're going to call it Demo Web API. We're going to select the empty template. And now we're going to head over to startup.cs and we're going to add the MVC pipeline to our startups file. The MVC pipeline is going to allow us to do things such as hit our routes and endpoints. Adding the MVC pipeline does a lot more than that, but we won't be going into that in this part. So now we say app.useMVC. Next, we're going to create our controller. So we're going to right click on our project and select add folder and call it controllers. And inside our controllers folder, we're going to right click on there, add controller. We're going to select the API controller empty and we're going to call it ping controller. You'll notice that we have route up the top there, which says API forward slash ping. That's how we're going to access our controller. So let's create a method public I action result as a return type and ping and we're going to return OK along with Pong as a string in the middle. We'll put the attribute HTTP get up the top. Save and build that. We'll make sure that each step is working perfectly so we're going to run this locally on our Visual Studio and make sure that we can hit our endpoint before going any further. Run that up. Grab the local host and port put it into Postman, add our route that we have, API ping, we got pong back and we got OK. So now we know that that's working successfully. That concludes part one. Look on screen at the moment where you can navigate to part two.